What's up everybody, my name is Warfarin Raw one today I'm going to be showing you how to mod Payday 2 on PC in 2023. Now for today's video begins, I'd just like to say that I do not know if this works on Epic Games because, well, I'm doing this on Steam. Uh, so, you know, you may have to look up a separate guide if you want to mod on Epic Games, if you can even mod. I'm not too sure if you can. And, you know, if you've been a long time viewer of this channel, you'll know that I sound a little different. Well, my old mic broke, so my homie theater of a phantom will borrow his uh, Yeti while I'm getting a replacement. So, until then, I'm going to sound like this, and it's going to sound pretty crispy. I really like the way it sounds. But enough with that, let's begin today's video. Now, with anything related to mods and everything else in between, you're going to need space. And it's always good to make sure you have enough space for mods. While payday mods aren't necessarily the biggest thing, it's always good to check to make sure you have enough space. A lot of the mods are only going to be like a few, uh, you know, kilobytes or KB, but whatever that means, you know, I'm not super tech with that. It's KB, so you know it's going to be pretty small. So, you know, it's always good to make sure you have enough space though. Like this, it's overkill for payday mods, but you know, if you're right here in the red and, you know, it, you're, you're not going to be able to download mods, okay? You need to, you know, free up some space. Not this crazy amount, but just a little bit of space to run mods, you know. To run next you're going to head over to superblt.znx.xyz i'm going to be leaving the links and stuff in the description below however i'm just going to be saying the full link name just to make it easier for you if you just want to type it in uh you're going to want to download the windows one obviously if you're on windows and if you're on linux you know you well do your thing on linux but i'm showing you how to do the windows way so you go right here where it says download the latest release dll you click that and you're going to get a zip file then what you're going to do is go to downloads extract the file then you're going to get a folder called payday 2 blt wsoc dll click that and you're going to see a application extension called wsoc32.dll then what you're going to want to do is you're going to go over to steam click on manage go to browse local files and you're going to be in the directory of payday 2 and this is what we call the root and today we're going to be dragging this file right here into the root of Payday 2. Whoops, I got to find it real quick. Uh, right here. So then you drag your the WSOC32 into the directory right here. You don't put in files. You don't put it with the folders, anything. You just copy it over. Now, see, since I already have it, I'm just going to leave it. You know, I'm not going to replace it or anything. But you shouldn't have this file. If you already do, well, you're probably doing something wrong and you might have to delete the file troubleshoot it but you know if you don't it's just gonna pop right in you're not gonna get any issues and you know you're already there to modding now before you can actually get any mods you're gonna have to download some mods so go over to nexusmods.com or payday2.pw and you're gonna download some mods this one is the 42069 detection risk and you know you're gonna go over to files right here manual download and you know you're just gonna go slow download because I'm not paying for that and just let the download do its thing real quick and then once the zip file pops up you're going to want to obviously extract all of them and then within the file there's going to be another file called well the main mod the 420 detection risk and these mods are different from visual mods so this right here you're going to want to drag over to the payday to mods mods right here where these are all your mods that affect games such as like god mode uh, exp boost uh you know picking up back speed pretty much like all like gameplay this on this this one folder right here affects gameplay whether it comes to balancing the game or anything else in between that comes between you and gameplay so we're going to be putting the 42069 detection risk in here and we're going to go over to mods and then put the folder in here and then now when we start up the game so let me close payday 2 we should get a new mod that pops up in our super blt directory that says you know obviously mod detected the 42069 detection risk now however if you've been around you may have noticed that there's a separate folder in the assets folder called mod overrides mod overrides are used for things such as changing the bags changing the way the bags look uh modding a character's voice or you know modding sounds these well they do sometimes affect gameplay it's mostly going to be visual mods like such as changing a skin color or changing you know the the way a bag looks on a, a mission so you may notice when you launch payday 2 you have a new window above your username 
and this is going to be where you manage all your gameplay mods all these mods affect gameplay you know like the instant auto respawn on death uh the 426 night detection risk we added and the, you know the drills no longer jam so now after that congratulations you have now fully modded payday 2 on pc before today's video ends i just like to say that video guides are not always 100 percent reliable video mod video tutorials can go out of date really fast this video is made in well when epic games and steam can are able to cross play and you know it it's a fairly new update but it may go outdated once payday 3 comes out or it's a few years down the line and you know some mods are different some mods don't work some sh some moving around doesn't work but however for now until 2023 this is 100% working it's reliable so you know it's always good to look up to see if there's a ring guide somewhere just to make sure it's 100% guaranteed I tried to look online when I first started modding Payday 2 and I just felt so overwhelmed because I didn't know what I was doing. So I made this video to hopefully help those who are struggling on modding Payday 2. My name is Wayfriend Robin 1 and I'll see everyone later. See you later.